How important is the software uh, management, software design, I suppose, better word, better phrase, to uh, improve the quality of VDSL? This is, is just crucial. Uh, the, the, uh, the boxes themselves are almost becoming commoditized. Uh, there are a number of manufacturers, most of the major equipment providers do that. We license the chip uh, providers from Aussie. We have the basic vectoring patents. But the management part is our business, and it is very crucially important. You could think, if you want to make a comparison, uh, the vector VDSL is like a thoroughbred horse. It can run very fast, but you can spook it uh, easily. And you need the management to be anticipating, looking at the situation, continuing to hold that uh, close. But the copper is capable, 500 meters to a kilometer type length, of supporting 100 megabit per second individual data rate to every single consumer. So if you're looking at an apartment complex, there really are gigabits of bandwidth going into that building, maybe exceeding what the pond uh, does today because every single customer has that 100 megabit per second bandwidth. This is revolutionary stuff, John, because you know we've always assumed that uh, GPON would be able to deliver much higher speeds than uh, even vector VDSL, mm -hmm. um, although the improvement of vector VDSL has obviously been something mm -hmm. we've all noted. But you're saying that uh, VDSL, properly designed, can actually at peak times deliver higher speeds than uh, what we call fiber to the home or, or yes. GPON. The currently available PON systems today, yes, would be below that. And in fact, uh, those individual connections, if you do want to share, I would encourage the, the use of the multiple Wi-Fi channels that are available in unlicensed spectrum. There are 23 of them, each mm -hmm. capable of supporting about 100 megabits also. Mm -hmm. Kind of a nice synergy there. So you can reallocate really within the premises side mm -hmm. and effectively take advantage of that bandwidth carefully and, and um, to the great uh, satisfaction of the consumer. And then you, don't, of course, don't have the high expense of running, trying to run a fiber to everyone's home, which is what Google's doing in the United States. The press has had that at about $8,000 per home right. to actually do that connection. Very high cost to run an individual fiber all the way that last segment going under the streets, the digging up the rose bushes, doing going through the walls and so forth, is the most expensive part. And of course, it's, it, there's no other customers to share that cost uh, yeah. over in the last segment, which yeah. I'm sure you know well from uh, the uh, yeah, yeah, activities we, we, here well, at, uh, with NBA and, we and picked that up. Well, John, thanks very much for talking with me. Good to see you. And you're here for the uh, Comms Day NBN Rebooted Conference that I'm about to speak at. That's so I'm right. sure uh, you'll have a very interesting time here and we're all very keen to uh, hear lots of views and insights uh, on broadband in Australia. Thanks very much. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity.